being indoors was an odd thing for most of humanity's history. We only lately invented houses and only lately like realized we could maybe spend some time in a cave out of the cold and the snow, but mostly people spend most of their time outdoors. So this is, it's in our DNA. I grew up in New York City, and so I was always in the streets and in a playground and riding my bicycle, swimming, just, you know, doing kids' games, that kind of thing when I, when I was younger, roller skating, broke my arm roller skating. Uh, <laughs> but um, as I got older, I, I never really liked team sports, and in school, there was always the pressure to be part of some kind of sport, like volleyball or baseball or something like that. And I said, I was never one of those people. I hated gym, um, but I loved dance. So I started to do more dance type exercises and I didn't even think about it as exercise. It was just something I loved because I love music, I love movement. I originally moved here because I loved the park. I remember sitting on one of the park benches and thinking, oh my God, the sunset is amazing. I could live here and this could be my backyard. So the reason I'm actually in Manhattan in this part of the world is because of this park. I got seduced by being outside and I thought, well, I can do my exercises outside. And um, I decided to become a personal trainer and then I decided to become a group exercise um, leader uh, and start classes. So I wasn't just doing it on my own, walking around on my own doing some stretches. I thought um, I can engage other people and this fits in with my public health. So it all kind of made sense that this was a way for people to be physically active without going to a gym, because a gym is expensive. There weren't that many gyms in the neighborhood at the time. There are more now, but you know, there really weren't that many choices. Uh, the type of exercises I'm doing, they're all body weight exercises, uh, which means yoga stretches, uh, things like push-ups, squats. We don't use any equipment. The only equipment we use is what we find in the park. So steps, benches, walls, railings. We're now in a playground. I also use the playground equipment when the kids aren't using it. I pick up people all the time. So there are people who will be walking through the park, watching us exercise, and they'll go, you know, hmm, what's going on there? And we'll invite them in. Maybe I will, maybe another people, other people in the group will, but um, we invite them in. And so there's a great advantage to having people see other people do healthy things because it's, you know, it's hard to change your habits, it's hard to get started, but if you see somebody else is doing it, and that other person kind of looks like you, sounds like you, lives in your neighborhood, you know, it's sort of a normal person and not a total jock, um, then I think it's, you know, it's just more welcoming. It's easier for people to, to get started. You know, I love being active and I love being outdoors, but honestly, what motivates me the most is knowing that other people are waiting here for me. I have that obligation and I have that responsibility and also I have that joy of being with people that I've known for years or maybe I'll meet somebody new. Um, there's always that anticipation and the possibility of having a new experience. Today I still love dance and in fact when people say what's your name I help them out a little bit and I go Nancy, Dancy Nancy and they remember my name. So I still love to dance, and I think of, I kind of think of life as a dance, and every day as a dance.